So this is my Spanish saddle, um, and this cardboard cutout is... I was in the process of making it to go over my dressage saddle, but I only had two days to do it. So this is what I've got left. It doesn't really work on here. So on the Spanish saddle, this hip area right here is really, really sharply tapered up, and it really wasn't enough to secure me from lateral movement when the oh shit happened. But it also doesn't have any um, tacky grip on here too, which will help. So anyway, the cardboard piece is, is designated a stiff piece of leather. And this right here is actually a foam piece I used to alter a treeless saddle for this very thing. And instead of this, I used leather on the outside. So this is just a um, foam, a stiff foam cushion. And I've tapered it from here up to about two inches over here. And if this was a dressage cantle here, this foam would just simply slide right over it like this. I'm trying to take a picture with one hand. It would slide right over and come around the side of the cantle, and this would batten down to the stirrup bar or a stirrup leather, or in this case, we do have a, a billet. Well, not a stirrup billet, leather, yeah. Anyways, so that would batten down there and provide my lateral support on that treeless saddle I had. And then this thick leather, which wouldn't be this tall, you would cut it down to the very height to the cantle back here. So this piece actually goes right up flush here and then this will give a little extra security down the sides and would fall trace down the back of my legs so you can see that would bend here and trace down the back of my legs so underneath here you can see I've left this open area and on this side if you see the outside of this this would bend around in this shape and fall the back of the leg a little bit it doesn't need to be this far down on here. Like I got this saddle is overkill on the front and the back. I didn't need that much. I just needed thigh support here. I mean, excuse me. <laughs> what do you call that? I guess they call it a thigh support. Yeah, if I block up here and something down here. So that was a thought to add some stability where there is none on the dressage saddle. Uh, if, I don't know if that makes any friggin' sense at all. Oh, yeah. And this down here could either be screwed down. Ah, got boxes in the way. This ring right here is the center of my saddle. So this would be a run of Velcro strap all the way through the gullet and attach it up here to these rings. Or it could be actually screwed into the cantle or tied down other ways. And while I'm at it, this is my stirrup holder I was trying to tell you about. Can do it with one hand usually at least when i'm in the saddle it's popped a little bean out it's a very simple little thing and it was able to hook my stirrups back up without ever getting on and off or using two hands so i hope this makes a little bit of sense uh thanks for trying to figure this out for me i'll talk to you later bye